What is going on guys, Chris here, and welcome back to another video. Now, you're not going to see my face in this video unless I just... Oh, hello. Hello, camera. That's me. Hey, what's going on? So, in today's video, we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. This is not a twisty puzzle. This is actually a puzzle that's come from PuzzleMaster.ca, and it's called the Minotaurus. So, this is a level 9 puzzle. That means it's pretty difficult. Uh, Puzzle Master rates their puzzles from 5 to 10, 5 being the easiest, 10 being the hardest. So a level 9 is nice and difficult, but not impossible. And we have two little balls in here, and then we have this sliding kind of tablet here, which is the top part of the maze, and then underneath we have a second layer of of a maze as well. So there's kind of two dimensions of, of moving parts here and kind of two mazes built on top of one another. So this puzzle is in the kind of unsolved state right now. We have uh, a box here for the first ball and a box here for the second one. And the aim of this puzzle is to get these two balls into the two holes over here. And it's only solved if both balls are in this exact spot and this little slate tablet thing here is um, is in the, the same position as it is right now. Uh, you can't have it way out on either side. Uh, you've got to have it exactly like this so it lines up with the maze underneath. So I just thought I'd showcase this puzzle because I think it's a really cool idea and I've been getting into kind of more wooden puzzles uh, and non-twisty puzzles that kind of get you thinking in a different way. You can only solve kind of 3x3 three three shape mods so many times before you're going to be able to solve any shape mod. Um, so I've been taking a look at different puzzles, getting interested in them, and this video is going to be about checking this one out. So I played around with this a little bit. Uh, I know kind of the first few moves to get the the balls free, uh, but that's about as far as I've gotten. So I just want to kind of take a look at it and see if we can get anywhere in this video. So. As you can see, this slate comes out pretty far if you want it to. And I think the premise of this puzzle is going to be getting uh, one ball into such a space that you can move the other ball around. So as you can see, we have this long part here, which is allowing us to move the slate up and down quite far. And this lets us move this ball up here whichever way we want to. So I think kind of one of the, the main goals of this is going to be to get um, the balls to meet each other. And the reason I think this, uh, as you can see here, we have uh, the slate coming out really far now. Uh, and the reason I think we have to get the balls together is because if you actually look over here, uh, the balls have to pass through the same spot to get to the solved point. So uh, there's no way for, for the for either ball to get to to each circle without passing through this part here. Um, and that bit's pretty obvious. So we need to get the balls to meet at some point and that's kind of what I'm gonna aim for at the moment. Uh, I think it's a really cool puzzle as well in the respect that it does come out very far, but everything is held together by the balls in the middle. Um, I just think it's a, it's a pretty neat idea and I like it a lot. Anyway, so we have uh, this slate all the way out here. I need to find a way to get these two balls to meet. And I don't really know how to do that yet. So let's try and do that in this video. I don't think I'm going to be able to solve this puzzle in this video. I think this is going to be one of those puzzles that takes a little while. Although I am seeing something here. Uh, I didn't notice this little gap here. Uh, if we can get... If we can get this kind of this staircase looking part down to uh, this part of the puzzle uh, we might be able to get this top ball down into the bottom so let's try and do that right now okay not quite so if we move it up a little bit like this oh still not quite enough so I think what we need to do is get this ball up to kind of around here and that will allow us to move the slate even further. Is that going to work for us? Okay. 
That's good. Okay, so now we need to move this ball up again. But keep... Oh, we need... Hmm. I wonder if we can get it so that this ball is up and this one stays down somehow. Can we kind of wriggle it up there? Oh, we can. We can. Cool. All right. Oh, cool. So now we're getting the ball down. Are they going to meet? They are. Okay. The two balls are together. Well, they were together. Now they've moved. How are we going to do this? We need to play it kind of smart. Maybe we need you to move up a bit first and kind of hang out there. Maybe not. This is really interesting. Uh, there's some really cool things happening here. So here our two balls have met. And that's that's nice. That's cool. Um, but from what I can tell, we need them to be kind of up here if we want to get the puzzle solved. Because um, they have to pass through this part here. Um, so I'm thinking we might need to get them... Just kind of theorizing here, as you can see, the, the slate's on the other side now, on the other extreme. Uh, it look, it's just a, such a cool looking puzzle. I, I love it. So, I'm just trying to think, maybe we need to get the balls around here together. And if we could do that, we'd be able to get them around and up here uh, in this little gap here. And then I'm pretty sure we'd be able to get them around... Um, somehow. The thing that's kind of getting to me at the moment though is that the ball has to go through this maze on the bottom. But how on earth is it going to go through the bottom? Ah, I don't see how it can go through the bottom part by accessing this part at the underneath. Does that make sense for you? Um, because one of the balls has to go through this gap here in order to come up, down, round, and to the to the goal, which is which is right here. But it also needs to go at least through this part here. Because this is the height, the highest part. Oh no, it needs to go at least up here. And then fall down and make its way down to here. I think that must happen once it's over here. Um, we need to get it up here and trace it all the way back and down to here and maybe it'll end up there. Ah, wow, okay. So even just thinking about this in my, in my head without actually moving it, I can tell that this is gonna be a lot more difficult than, than I'm giving it credit for. This is gonna be a, a really hard puzzle to solve. Um, I definitely don't think I'm going to do it in this video. Uh, it's going to be tricky. I know that much. So, uh, But we managed to get the balls together, which which is a start. Oh, they're definitely together now, uh, right at the bottom there. So that's a good start, I think. And, you know, if you guys want to see me try and solve this puzzle, please do let me know in the comments below. I appreciate that. Until this point, my channel has always been about twisty puzzles and Rubik's Cubes. Um, but... I'm thinking maybe of branching out and trying these puzzles as well. Uh, maybe not a cankerous solve video, but just, just something like this where I try and solve a puzzle and see where it goes. Um, and yeah, let me know if you like that idea and I can definitely do that a little bit more. If you don't like that idea at all, also let me know and I'll stick to, to twisty puzzles and, and do this in my own time. But that is it from me, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video of me checking out the Minotaurus. If you're interested in buying this puzzle, I think it's about $45. Check the link in the description below. There is also a cheaper version of this puzzle, which is slightly smaller, and you have pegs rather than balls. So, you know, you might be interested in checking that out. I think it's about $35. Um, but yeah, that, this has been the, the Minotaurus from PuzzleMaster.ca. Uh, go check it out and different puzzles. Puzzle Master has a lot of different stuff. So, so yeah, definitely worth going and checking out their store. Uh, but that is it from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, leave a like, leave a comment, and then subscribe. And you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Have an awesome day. See you next time.